Hello guys welcome back to our anime moments. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Soul Land 2 Peerless Tang Men based on novel. So let's start. At that moment, a light appeared between Wang Dong's eyebrows, and the ball of golden light expanded at an astonishing speed, growing to a radius of about 10 meters, emitting a blinding light. Shang Guangkan screamed, his mouth spewing fresh blood. He felt like his brain was about to split open, and the soul-sucking bell in his hand was shattered to pieces. The hammer in Wang Dong's hand flew out of his hand at this moment, drawing a beautiful and strong arc in the air as it flew straight towards Shang Guangkan's chest. A figure appeared in front of Shang Guangkan's body just in time. The strong body blocked the path of the hammer, and a ping sound could be heard as the hammer hit the body. The figure stepped two steps back to steady himself from the impact of the hammer, and remarked breathlessly, what a strong force. The black light converged, and before anyone could see the hammer that was about to emerge from the black light, it disappeared. Wang Dong's body shook a little, but he stood his ground. Wasn't that the sole sage judge who just blocked the attack for Shang Guangkan? The judge's appearance meant that this competition had finally ended, they really won. Wang Yang watched, dumbstruck, as Wang Dong limped towards Hu Yu Hao, his lips trembling. Wang Yang was rendered speechless. He could never have guessed that this team made up of four soul ancestors, one soul elder and two soul grandmasters could have defeated a strong team of three soul kings and four soul ancestors. Yes, even Shrek couldn't believe it. He Kai too was also stupefied. When he had lost the round, he had thought that it was the end. After all, the opposing team had still had a rank 58 soul king that had not entered the arena. Yet, a miracle happened again. Although Shrek Academy paid for their victory with blood, they did not lose the glory that belonged to the Shrek Academy. They won match Shrek Academy had emerged victorious again. The whole match could only be described as immensely tragic. From the first round, Xu Sancha was already badly injured. Although he later exaggerated his injuries, Bei Bei had verified that the source of his injury was genuine. In the second round, He Kai Tu had used all his power and Xiao Xiao had sustained major injuries even her martial soul was crushed by her opponent. If not for the fact that she was born with two martial souls, this would have been a blow serious enough to force her departure from the competition. The third round didn't end any better, with Bei Bei unconscious after severe injuries, and Hua Yu Hao on the ground, exhausted. Shockingly, the final victory was achieved by Wang Dong, whose soul power had already been completely depleted. In the three rounds of this match, it could be said that every one of Shrek's seven monsters had tried their very best, and utilized every possible trick they had up their sleeves. They had won through sheer perseverance and will, despite being a much weaker team than their opponent, gaining the final victory. This victory was hard-earned, but to the Shrek Academy team and Shrek's seven monsters, it was undoubtedly glorious. An unparalleled glory. Tears started to course uncontrollably down Wang Yang's cheeks as he struggled to understand how Wang Dong had summoned a second martial soul, and the power with which Hui Yu Hao had vanquished his opponent. The only thought that occupied his head was victory. They had achieved the final victory. Shrek had won. Victory for Shrek Academy in the Elite Continental Soul Master Academy tournament hadn't been so difficult for at least a few thousand years. This competition had certainly been difficult, but in Wang Yang's heart, this was more meaningful than an easy victory by Shrek Academy's regular members. He could see seven stars gradually rising. In the near future, these seven monsters would definitely become strong pillars of Shrek Academy. Far away, beyond the imperial city and the battlements, the Star Luo Emperor had already taken off his crown. The atmosphere in Star Luo Plaza now was astonishingly frenzied, but it instantly quieted down upon hearing Wang Yang's announcement. The gazes of the audience were all drawn towards the tear-filled Wang Yang. Fellow friends, teachers, and students from the various participating academies. You all saw what just happened. For the sake of defending our academy's glory, my children from Shrek Academy have fought along, bloody battle to obtain a final victory, I know. A lot of you are asking, why has Shrek Academy suddenly become so weak? Why was it so difficult for Shrek Academy to win? These kids have done all they could to finally create a miracle. This was simply an unwinnable match. They relied on their own willpower to persevere under all this, but why would a situation like this occur? This is a story known only to a few people in the Academy, and I shouldn't say anything about it. However, I can't hold it in anymore. I have to stand in place of these venerable, admirable, and adorable children of mine to testify. Our Shrek Academy is known as the continent's number one academy by everyone here, and we made ample preparations for this year's tournament like everyone else. 
However, none of the participating students you see in front of you were official members, they were preparatory team members who came here to gain some experience. They aren't representing our academy to take part in this tournament because we decided to give them this much experience, it's because we had no other choice. At this point, the various representative teams from the various academies, the populace, and even the emperor, who was originally planning to leave the city walls, felt curiosity in their heart before we came to Star Luo City to participate in this tournament, our academy's official and preparatory teams were assigned to do something else. We were to eliminate a group of bandits that were led by an evil soul master in the Mingdo mountain range. They were a group of bandits who wantonly killed, robbed, and committed every imaginable evil act. For the sake of the safety of the merchants and common people who live in the Mingdo mountain range, our Shrek Academy decided to take it upon ourselves to solve this problem. Finally, we found those bandits and their leader in a cave. We completely dominated them in terms of strength, but that evil soul master used an evil skill to detonate the corpses of his fellow bandits. Due to the large number of dead bandits, the detonation caused severe injuries to our official team members. One of which died, and the other six received injuries to different extents. Of which, we've sent a few back to the academy to recuperate. The academy didn't have enough time to send more people, and thus we came here with a disjointed team. A few of our official team members who have lighter injuries are still resting in the hotel, and the only people we have who can come up are these preparatory team members. In reality, even the first match that we participated in was extremely tough for us. This team was only able to slowly get to this stage by diligently working together. For the sake of Shrek's glory, they have already given all they can, and as a teacher of Shrek Academy, I am proud of them. They will always be Shrek Academy's most dazzling students. The reason why I chose to stand in front of all of you today is because I wish for everyone here who has placed their hopes on Shrek Academy to not criticize these kids too harshly. Of the seven of them, there are even three who are only 12 years old. The other four aren't even 15 yet. What more can we ask of them? Even if we lose this tournament, in my heart, they have won. That is all. Thank you, everyone. With that, Wang Yang handed the sound amplifying soul tool to the referee and bowed deeply towards the audience. Only then did he return to Hikaitu's side and bring the three unconscious people down from the stage. The audience remained silent for a few seconds. Nobody cheered, but what replaced it was the sound of intense clapping. It started out soft, but it infected the entire arena. Even Shrek's opponents and the Emperor and his ministers above the city walls were clapping for Shrek Academy. The enigma behind Shrek Academy's team was finally solved. It was exactly this that stunned everyone present. This was especially true for Wang Yang's last words, there were actually three of these kids who were only 12 years old. As their opponents, just Sky Academy felt like they couldn't raise their heads at all. They had lost. Not only had they lost to Shrek Academy's preparatory team, but they had lost to such young opponents. Naturally, there were two exceptions to this. Yi Wuching and Yang'a were still stuck in Hui Yu's frost seal, and no matter how hard the medical soul masters sent by the tournament's organizational committee tried, they were unable to melt the ice that covered them. Protected by a large number of medical personnel and soul masters from the Empire, Shrek Academy once again left the arena. Only, their departure was filled with a moving and tragic air. The audience wasn't even sure whether or not they could participate in the next match. They truly didn't wish for this tournament to lose the presence of Shrek Academy. They weren't just the continent's number one academy, but one that could make its students go crazy to defend it. Without them, this tournament would definitely lose its luster. The next time Hua Yu Hao came to, it was already the next morning. His physique had undergone a drastic change after the infusion of the Ice Jade Emperor Scorpion's bones. This time, his exhaustion did not just stem from the expenditure of his soul power, more substantially, it came from when the Ice Empress was manipulating his body and channeled the true power of the bones, his body was nearly unable to withstand the pressure. After a day and night of recuperation, in addition to the natural regenerative abilities of his bones and bodily functions, he felt a lot better than before. Ma Xiaodao drifted into his sight the moment he opened his eyes. Ma Xiaodao was not clad in red like she usually was. Instead, she was wearing a cascading white dress and was just quietly sitting there, with her flowing pink hair hanging loosely behind her back. There was an enchanting beauty and tranquility about her, Sister Xiaodao, Hui Yu Hao shouted in shock Hui Yu Hao sensed the state of his body. His soul power was almost fully replenished, and even though he could feel throbbing aches all over his body, his passageways were intact. The sentence spoken by the Ice Empress when she took over his body floated into his mind. Control, you must be able to control every single ounce of power in your body with meticulous accuracy, and only then can you defeat a stronger opponent. 
the true power of the Ice Empress was not something that his current body could handle. However, after the first channeling of her power, the reason why his body was hurt but not damaged was due to the Ice Empress' perfect control. The impeccable manipulation was simply spectacular and breathtaking to him, I'm feeling a lot better. Hua Yuhao struggled to get up, and his blank slipped down from his shoulders. He suddenly realized that there wasn't a single thread on his body as he gasped and reflexively hugged himself across his chest, ha ha. Ma Xiaodao chuckled as she watched his awkward display of embarrassment. Seriously? It's not as if I haven't seen your little peanut before. Hua Yuhao's mouth hung agape as he felt his face flush with hot blood. His cheeks were red and puffed out as he exclaimed once again, it's not a peanut. Ma Xiaodao couldn't control her amusement any longer as she laughed heartily. Her actions were faintly elegant as she said, I guess it's true that no matter how old you are, males will always have an unrivaled ego about that thing. All right, I won't tease you anymore. Since there's nothing you need to do, go wash up and grab a bite. Then you will rest, she stood up as she spoke and stretched her back lazily. She had been watching over Hui Yu Hao for an entire night. No matter how powerful her abilities were, she hadn't fully healed from her own injuries, and it was inevitable that she felt a little exhausted. Her stretch instantly placed her perfect and even slightly exaggerated curves in front of Hui Yu Hao and caused his little guy to flush even more. At this moment, the door opened, and somebody walked in. From that person's perspective, he just witnessed Ma Xiaodao stretching her back, and the half-naked Hui Yu Hao, whose cheeks were flushed with embarrassment. You you guys, Wang Dong gasped as he stood at the doorway, stunned at the sight before his eyes, which started to grow red. Ma Xiaodao stretched once more before she sauntered to the door and came up in front of Wang Dong. She tapped him lightly on the head. Don't think about all this nonsense at such a young age. I think he's fine, and you look like you've recovered as well. Go grab a bite together, she said as she pushed the door open and stepped out. This light tap on the head knocked Wang Dong to his senses and he instantly reoriented himself. He scratched his head and laughed at himself, yes. We're only twelve years old, how are you, you how? You look like you were just violated, Wang Dong snapped. Hua Yu Hao dove right back under his blanket. Xiao Dao was right, your head is just full of nonsense with all that talk of violation. She said we won, so please tell me, how did we win? Wang Dong grunted and sat down on the same stool that Ma Xiao Dao had just gotten up from. Of course it was done with a single hammer stroke from my soul elder that silenced them all. Hui Yu Hao was a little confused, and asked curiously, was I not the one that dealt the winning blow? Even though he didn't know what had happened, he had absolute faith in the powers of the Ice Empress. Wang Dong recounted the final scenes of the battle in detail, including the part where he threw out the hammer, a hammer. Truly a master stroke. That must be your second martial soul. What's it called? Hui Yu Hao asked curiously. Wang Dong watched his face of plain calmness and asked with amused impertinence, aren't you surprised that I have two martial souls? Hui Yu Hao grunted and answered, what's so surprising about that? I've known that all along. Wang Dong glared and opened his eyes wide. No way. I've never revealed my second martial soul before. Hui Yu Hao laughed mischievously and said, but our martial souls have fused before. Don't you know the requirements for a martial soul fusion skill? Teacher Wang Yang said it before even though a martial soul fusion skill doesn't require both parties to have the same martial souls, they have to be compatible with each other. The strength of the martial soul fusion is also intricately connected to our compatibility, and our compatibility rate was so high that even Teacher Wang said it was extremely rare. How can it be that I have two martial souls and you only have one? I will never believe that. So, even though I don't know what it is, I've always known you had a second martial soul. Then why have you never asked? Wang Dong murmured as he lowered his head. Hoi Yu Hao shrugged. Why would I? Everybody has their own secrets. Even though we are the best of friends, probing into others' secrets is not a good thing. Everybody needs personal space, no? Wang Dong raised his head once again as he glanced at Hoi Yu Hao with a look of astonishment. That means that you have a secret that I don't know about. Quick, spill it. Hoi Yu Hao chortled and said with resolute righteousness, over my dead body. A cunning look came over Wang Dong's face. So you won't say it unless I beat you till you're dead? He pounced on Hoi Yu Hao as he spoke, help. Hoi Yu Hao screamed as they fought into a bundle with the blanket separating them. Wang Dong tugged on the blanket and Hoi Yu Hao, who was hiding underneath it, was instantly completely exposed. A shrill cry came out from Wang Dong's mouth as he saw the said, little peanut, that Ma Xiaodao was just talking about. 
Hui Yu Hao snatched the blanket back and glared at Wang Dong with furious eyes. You gangster, you even want to peep at people of the same gender? Wang Dong recovered at the same time and shot back, so you've peeped at people of the opposite gender? I? Of course I haven't. Hui Yu Hao denied, but the glorious images of his tryst with Ma Xiaodao inside Sea God's Lake slowly drifted into his head. For young men, it is normal to have such fantasies as long as one doesn't lose control. Wang Dong leapt down from the bed with puffy cheeks and said, All right, go wash up and get dressed now so we can eat. I came to see you as soon as I woke up, so I'm famished. I haven't eaten anything since the competition yesterday. As he spoke, he turned around and strolled over to the sofa on the side and closed his eyes as he turned away from Hui Yu Hao. Hui Yu Hao got out of bed as well and stretched his body, feeling sore all over. However, after a night's rest and the natural healing abilities of the mysterious heaven technique, his mobility was not affected, you're right, it's time to grab a bite. We should continue training and healing once we're done eating. My overdraft from the competition is serious and my passageways are swelling with discomfort. We still have another round of the competition tomorrow, so we have to try our best to recover today. We've only cleared a single challenging hurdle, eh? Who's that? As they were speaking to each other, Wei Yu Hao suddenly felt an ominous tinge of alarm flash by in his head as he glanced towards the window subconsciously. Following the continuous rise in his abilities and his training of the spiritual sea, Wei Yu Hao's spiritual awareness was a lot sharper than before. In addition to that fact, the arriving party had no intention to mask himself or herself, so Wei Yu Hao detected the intruder at the first possible instance. In a flash, a single person appeared before Wei Yu Hao. Fortunately, he was properly dressed at this point, and his little peanut wasn't exposed. The person who came was an elder, who was scraggy and of average height. However, he seemed to be brimming with energy. On the surface, he appeared to be around 60 years old, and his short hair was dark brown. His gaze was filled with passion and vigor as it landed on Hui Yu Hao. An invisible pressure bore down on Hui Yu Hao and stifled him instantly. Wang Dong, whose eyes were originally shut, immediately bounced up upon hearing Hui Yu Hao's voice and stood beside him. There was no doubt that the elderly man who had come in through the window didn't harbor good intentions. The elderly man did not respond. As he raised his right hand, Hui Yu Hao and Wang Dong felt their eyes go dark as the surrounding light dimmed. A frightening soul power that left them fetid permeated the entire room in an instant. At this point, they felt like they were trapped in a cage, without even a chance to struggle and resist. As he watched the elderly man, Wei Yu Hao was bewildered. He had never seen this man before and neither did he know what he was here for. Elder, who are you? Are you here to find me? Hui Yu Hao posed the same question again. At the same time, he lifted his hand to protect Wang Dong, who was behind him. Both he and Wang Dong did not unleash their martial souls at this moment, as they could sense the immense gap between them and this elderly man in front of them. He was not someone that could be resisted easily even if they teamed up together against him. Since this was the case, unleashing their martial souls could have the undesirable effect of provoking the elderly man. At the very least, they had to clarify the situation first. The elderly man snorted as he cast his piercing and vigorous gaze on Hui Yu Hao's face. He said indifferently, Tell me, which human form of the ten great savage beasts are you? While you have concealed yourself well, you can't fool me even though you might fool others. Hui Yu Hao was incredulous as he replied, What do you mean, ten great savage beasts? Elder, I have no idea what you are talking about. You have no idea what I am talking about? Stop pretending, it's useless. Don't even think of trying to escape. With your current abilities, you don't stand a chance against me. I have already sealed this place with my soul power. Neither your voice nor your body will have a single shred of a chance of escaping. Hui Yu Hao furrowed his brows. Elder, I have seriously no idea what you're talking about or why you are here. The elderly man guffawed and seemed to be very proud of himself, very well, since you're not going to admit anything, I shall expose you then. I shall let you die convinced. As he spoke, the elderly man stepped forward and his aura erupted, forcing Hui Yu Hao and Wang Dong to retreat uncontrollably. They even fell back onto the sofa, I am Cheng Gang, the protector Dolor of the Star Luo Empire. On that day, how did you manage to emerge victorious over your opponent during the competition between Shrek Academy and Just Sky Academy? After hearing his words, Wei Yu Hao's heart could not help but skip a beat, as he understood what the elderly man was talking about. While Wei Yu Hao was not exceptionally smart, he had become much more intelligent after he fused with the Sky Dream Ice Worm. Not only was he much more mature than others of the same age, 
he was also more pensive. He now understood that the elderly man could have sensed the aura of the Ice Empress which explained the man's previous question. The elderly man had taken him for the human form of a hundred thousand year salt beast. As Chen Gang looked at the stunned Hui Yu Hao, he assumed that Hui Yu Hao was feeling guilty over what he said and added, during the competition you were forced to use your origin power, am I right? At that moment, you inevitably revealed the aura that you originally possessed. To others, they might not have noticed, but you can't escape my sharp eyes. My martial soul contains a spiritual sense that is extremely sensitive. At the very first moment, I had already felt your aura. Let me think, among the ten great savage beasts, only two of them belong in the ice type category. One of them is the Snow Lady, who is ranked third, and the other is the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion, who is ranked eighth. Which of them are you? Hui Yu Hao was truly stunned by the judgment of the elderly man now. Besides the fact that he was not the human form of a soul beast, this elderly man's judgment was flawless. While the elderly man referred to her by a different name, Hui Yu Hao could tell that the snow lady that the elderly man was talking about was actually the snow empress, as the ice jade empress scorpion called her. As for the ice jade empress scorpion, wouldn't it be referring to the ice empress herself? What was it with these ten great savage beasts? The titan snow devil king, ranked last among the three heavenly kings in the extreme north, was not even included. As for the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion, she was even only ranked eighth among the ten savage beasts. The rankings were indeed frightening and astonishing, all right, you don't have to act foolish anymore. You won't stand a chance. I never expected my luck to be so good that I would manage to catch one of the ten great savage beasts today. Whether you are the Snow Lady or the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion King, my reward will be an entire set of transcendent soul bones. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. This time, the surge of soul power was considerably less than before. Hui Yu Hao could only feel a numbing sensation originating from the bones all around his body. He could not tell whether he was comfortable or feeling awful as this sensation coursed through his entire body. But Chen Gang's dense soul power did agitate the circulation of blood in his veins, which alleviated the overbearing pain caused by the Ice Empress. As Chen Gang increased the frequency of his slaps on Hui Yu Hao's body with his palms, his expression became more and more dismal too. Finally, he wrenched Hui Yu Hao from the bed and dragged him in front of him, bellowing, Do you not the rebirth of a savage beast? Hui Yu Hao stared at him coldly, Since when did I tell you that I am the rebirth of a savage beast? I am a true, living human being. Chen Gang reacted to his words like a deflated balloon and threw Hui Yu Hao onto the bed violently. Then, he said depressingly, How is this possible? How is this possible? I clearly sense the aura of a savage beast. I can't be wrong. Only extremely powerful savage beasts will possess such a strong undulation of life force. Under the suppression of his soul power, Hui Yu Hao was immobile. However, he could still speak, that's because of your own greed. There's no harm in telling you, my ice martial soul is indeed the ice jade scorpion. Chen Gang's face was struck with a look of revelation. So that's the case. So that's the case. It's just that, how are you able to make the aura of the martial soul of your Ice Jade Scorpion appear with traces of the Ice Jade Empress Scorpion? This is impossible. Moreover, how did the martial soul of the Ice Jade Scorpion appear? I have never heard of anyone who possesses such a martial soul. With regards to this titled Dolor Elder who had appeared so abruptly, Hui Yu Hao was extremely riled up, and he bellowed in rage, how should I know? Aren't you the titled Dolor here? You should know better than I do. But you came here to grab me before even clarifying the situation? Forget it, Yu Hao. This elder is not being deliberate here either. Wang Dong finally spoke, and his voice in an unusual, tender tone. He even coupled the smile on his face with adulation. People cannot avoid making mistakes. Elder Cheng might be a super expert, titled Dolor, but it's inevitable that he will make mistakes too. He's not doing this on purpose, and he didn't cause you any real harm either. Just forget it. As he said that, Wang Dong even shot a look at Hui Yu Hao. They had been partners for such long time, to the point where they were practically telepathic. Hui Yu Hao felt his heart skip a beat as he instantly understood what Wang Dong was trying to do and scowled at himself, he wasn't as calm as Wang Dong in such a crucial moment. Only the three of them were inside the room at this moment, and the entire room had been sealed off. If this title Dolor wanted to cover up what had just transpired, or if he suddenly felt murderous and wanted to silence them forever, then nobody could save them. However, a sudden change in attitude wasn't the way to go either. Hui Yu Hao grunted once and stopped talking entirely. Chen Gang growled, it's just my bad luck. 
you two little kids better watch your mouths. Wang Dong inquired, I haven't asked, what is your title? Chen Gang, the protector de Lu, left the Grand Imperial Star Hotel. There was no need to even mention how depressed he was feeling. The instant he had sensed the aura of the savage, he had felt as if the blood in his body was boiling. As a title de Lu, he was naturally aware that when a soul beast reached a hundred thousand years of cultivation, it could choose to recultivate to become a human. Otherwise, it could attempt to break through the exceedingly perilous bottleneck. After 200,000 years of cultivation, a soul beast could no longer cultivate to become a human anymore. However, he had indeed sensed the aura that had come from Hui Yuhao's body. Spurred by his own greed, he could not help but ponder how humans did not fully comprehend soul beasts. Perhaps there was some special circumstance? Maybe soul beasts had researched a special method of undergoing cultivation? With such a mindset, he had gone looking for Hui Yuhao this morning with an elevated heartbeat. But who knew that things would turn out to be the complete opposite of what he had expected? After inspecting Hui Yu Hao's body, he had gleaned nothing from it. Even if a soul beast turned into a human, the condition of the soul beast's body would be starkly dissimilar from that of a true human being. In particular, the method of circulating soul power was something that could not escape the eyes of a powerful individual, a titled De Lore, like him. However, Hui Yu Hao body clearly reflected his identity as a real human. As his hopes had been dashed, it was no wonder that Chen Gang was currently crestfallen. With his current status in the Star Luo Empire, it was relatively easy for him to obtain a soul bone. While soul bones were rare, there were still some that could be acquired. However, Chen Gang was a conceited man. He had been searching for the most suitable and outstanding soul bone for himself. Ordinary soul bones hardly caught his eye. Despite this, he had yet to procure a soul bone for himself even though he had cultivated to the level of a title de lore. After all, when top-quality soul bones appeared on the market, their prices were astronomical. Even though the Star Luo Empire supported him, they wouldn't go to such an extent for him, what luck, damn it. I hope those rascals have some tact. Otherwise, offending Shrek Academy for no valid reason won't be good for me. But then, I didn't really do anything either. You should be glad that you didn't do anything to harm them. A cold voice sounded in his mind, who is that? It was still in the afternoon, and the sun was still bearing down. With Chen Gang's cultivation, everything within a thousand meter radius would be within his range of sensation. However, he had not realized the presence of the person whose voice he had just heard. I am your daddy. Your daddy is waiting for you outside the west gate. Obedient child, come over now. That cold voice started to sound weird and piercing all of a sudden, bastard, you dare to use a soul tool to make a fool of me. Chen Gang's figure flashed, and he made his way towards the direction of the west gate as if he were a puff of smoke. To him, if even a title Dodo could not detect the presence of the other party, then the other party must certainly be using some form of peculiar soul tool to avoid detection. Neither parties had even released their martial souls, but Chen Gang's opponent was able to force him back just by using a chicken bone. His cultivation must be very immense, I recall that your title is immense. Come, show me how powerful you are. As long as you are able to withstand ten attacks of mine, I will let you off. In the face of this unpredictable elderly man, Chen Gang remained calm as he said in a deep voice, Elder, are you from Shrek Academy? The elderly man snorted, you're not dumb. Do you really think that Shrek Academy is such an easy target to be bullied? Who else from Shrek looked like that? It was naturally the Dao Tai De Lore, Elder Xian. Elder Xian had an even sent by Shrek Academy. After being reprimanded by Elder Mu, he had run out on his own. He couldn't stop worrying about the little fellows. As for the competition before, he had been watching it secretly. When Wang Dong supported Hui Yu Hao and Bei Bei to seize victory, he had been so emotional that he had teared up, even though he hadn't been so impassioned for a long time. At that point in time, he even had the urge to burst up to the arena to compete himself. Today, he had witnessed the entirety of Chen Gang's actions. He had watched from the side. If Chen Gang had had the murderous intention to kill both Hui Yu Hao and Wang Dong, he and even the Star Luo Empire wouldn't have been spared. Chen Gang lamented in his heart. From what he knew, Shrek Academy's teacher that had come this time should have only been in the Soul King level, I was a little reckless. However, if a soul beast converts into a human to cultivate, it will pose a huge threat to the human race. That's why I, shut your trap. Elder Xian bellowed in anger, cut your flowery words with me. Are you not just being selfish? Let's not even talk about the fact that a soul beast can't turn into a human. 
Even if a soul beast could, it would just become a human after it succeeds in its cultivation. What has that got to do with you? Are you not eyeing the hundred thousand year soul ring and soul bone? Stop trying to spout nonsense to me. On account of the fact that you did not attempt to kill them, I shall only teach you a lesson today. Remember it. Cheng Gang was the protector de law of the Star Luo Empire, and it had been a long time since he had been admonished like this. His face turned red, and he retorted in fury, Come on then, show me what you have to teach me. As he said that, his left leg stepped forward slightly. Following that, a beam of glowing concentrated black emanated from within his body. When this black glow appeared, it had an earth-shaking effect. The entire earth seemed to tremble slightly. Cheng Gang's body began to show obvious changes. To a beast soul master, the higher his cultivation, the greater the changes his body would experience when he unleashed his martial soul. Right now, this was the case with Cheng Gang. His skin turned dark and glimmered with light, as if it were a crustacean that was coated with a layer of black. The most intriguing change that he experienced were in his brows. Both sides of his eyebrows grew longer at the same time before they curled up. Eventually, they reached over 20 centimeters in length, as if they were two tentacles that were pointed upwards. Two yellow, three purple, four black. A total of nine rings appeared on his body. Following the rhythm of the soul rings, the frightening aura of a title dolor burst forth ceaselessly. The earth-shaking sensation became stronger and stronger. It seemed to have been influenced by Cheng Gang's martial soul. This was the pressure of a title dolor. A title dolor who could cause mass destruction. Because of the presence of title dolor, a soul engineer had always been unable to surpass a soul master. As he howled, Cheng Gang stepped forward abruptly. At the same time, the earth in front of him undulated and rose more than 10 meters tall like a tidal wave. Following that, the plot of earth that rose up started to slam down on Elder Xian. This wasn't any earth-type power, but a pure force. Cheng Gang wasn't even using a soul skill right now. Elder Xian snorted, and stepped forward with his right leg to, boom just that simple step caused a huge impact, as if a meteorite had crashed or an earth dragon had risen from the ground. The earth that Cheng Gang had lifted was instantaneously crushed. Not only that, but the frightening force was converted into a fan-shaped yellow shockwave that was conducted towards Cheng Gang's feet. Cheng Gang could only feel a wave of irresistible force being transmitted to him from beneath his feet. When he wanted to use a soul skill, he discovered to his shock that his soul power had been repressed. After that, he was heaved into the air. As Elder Xian stomped with his right foot, he appeared in front of Chen Gang in a flash, the forte of the Ant Emperor is its strength. Let this old man see how strong you are. As he spoke, Elder Xian's hand was already pressing on Chen Gang's shoulder. From the moment he leapt from the ground to the instant that he pressed on Chen Gang's shoulder, only a brief period of time had passed. However, Chen Gang felt that this brief period of time was as long as a century. When Elder Xian's figure flashed, Chen Gang must have had thought of at least five ways to escape his opponent's control. However, he was unable to perform any of them. As they were pulled closer, a startling pressure was exerted on him. He was stifled by this pressure and could not even use a single soul skill. He froze in midair. Since he had become a title dolor, and even since he had become a soul master, he had never experienced such a situation in all his years. Chen Gang was completely out of sorts now. He had never thought that someone so powerful existed in this world. It was also at this point that the frightful momentum disappeared. Both Chen Gang and Elder Xian landed on the earth again. Elder Xian's huge hand was still pressing on Chen Gang's shoulder, come. I will not use my soul power, but only my pure strength. Whatever you have to do, I will let you off if you can shrug my hand off your shoulder. Elder Xian looked at Chen Gang in disdain. As a title dolor, Chen Gang was normally an arrogant person. Furthermore, the strong suit of his martial soul was its strength. And that might be minute, but it was able to lift heavy objects up to a hundred times its weight. Moreover, Chen Gang's soul skills were targeted towards increasing his strength still further. He could be considered a pure strength type title Dolor. His opponent's soul power was immense, and he knew that he could not resist it, but he did not believe that he could not match up in terms of strength. Therefore, Chen Gang expended all his strength and used all the soul skills he had which could increase his own strength. He struggled mightily. The frightening strength caused the earth beneath him to crack, and fissures extended through the earth for several thousand meters around them. It was as if an earth dragon was really going to rise from the ground. However, the hand that was pressing on his shoulder was very strong. No matter how hard he tried, he could not shrug it off. 
Cheng Gang's veins were already popping out. He had already tried his best, but he was still unable to free himself. Elder, are you an ultimate Dolor? Cheng Gang asked in a blur. The physical pain that he felt was not comparable to the agony he felt in his heart. A long time ago, Cheng Gang already knew that there were huge gaps between the cultivations of Title Dolor. But after he became a Title Dolor, he reckoned that his own abilities were very powerful and forgot this. When he was slapping himself earlier, he had become much clearer in his mind too. Every major level of a soul master was divided into ten different ranks. When the lowest soul scholar reached rank ten, he could become a soul master after obtaining a soul ring. Because of that soul ring, a soul master was much more powerful than a soul scholar. In the soul master level, every increase in rank would increase one soul power by at least 10%. At the stage of a soul grandmaster, the gaps between the ranks would become even greater. However, the gap in soul power between title Dolor was the greatest. This was after 90 ranks. Only after obtaining a soul ring could one soul power transcend rank 90 and reach rank 91 through the power of the soul ring. Between rank 91 and 92, there was a twofold increase in soul power. Of course, the powers of a soul master could not just be determined using soul power. The strength of one soul skill, the effectiveness of the soul rings on one's body and even differences in soul bones could make up for the differences in cultivation between two different people. Hence, a rank 92 soul master might not find it particularly easy to defeat a rank 91 soul master. However, there was definitely a gap in soul power. Every time one's cultivation increased a rank, the difference would increase too. When rank 95 was reached, there would be a huge bottleneck. A rank 95 transcendent title Dolor possessed a cultivation that could resist 10 lower rank title Dolor. If a title Dolor's cultivation could reach rank 99, he would be recognized as an ultimate Dolor. In the entire history of the Dolor continent, there had been very few ultimate Dolor. The period of time when there was the greatest concentration of ultimate Dolor was during the generation of Tang San of the Tang sect. Not only did ultimate Dolor appear then, but Tang San and his wife, as well as their rivals, even became gods. However, very few ultimate Dolor had appeared on the Dolor continent since then, I'm not. Elder Xian shook his head and denied Cheng Gang's word, you are not. Can you tell me your title then? Cheng Gang continued to ask indignantly. Elder Xian twisted his mouth and said, how did you reply to those little fellows? I shall reply you in the same way. You are still not fit to ask what my title is. You don't have the right to. Scram now. As he said that, he kicked Cheng Gang in the torso. Cheng Gang felt as if he was flying above the clouds as he was kicked out. But this kick wasn't important. When he controlled his body to cushion his landing on the ground, the slovenly elder had already disappeared. While his face was flushed, his heart was cold at this point. He shook his head and wiped the blood off his lips. Cheng Gang muttered bitterly, I am a frog in a well. I am really a frog in well. After I became a title Dolor, I thought that I was the most outstanding. But I didn't expect that I'd be nothing against someone who is truly powerful. Shrek Academy, what a Shrek Academy! I have to shut myself in and cultivate again. Hu Yu Hao and Wang Dong did not know that Elder Xian had avenged them. After eating, they went to visit Xiao Xiao. However, the two of them only remained at the entrance of the room to take a look at her situation. They did so because it was not too appropriate for them to enter, given the situation inside. Xiao Xiao's room door wasn't shut and was half opened. From the opening of the door, Hui Yu Hao and Wang Dong could see a burly figure sitting at the bedside. This person was meticulously feeding Xiao Xiao porridge with a small spoon. After they arrived in Wang Yang's room, Wang Yang gestured for both of them to take a seat on the sofa. Following that, he stared at them with a serious expression on his face without opening his mouth for a whole minute. Hui Yu Hao and Wang Dong began to develop chills on their skin after being eyeballed by Wang Yang. Wang Dong got to a point where he could no longer bear it, and asked, Teacher Wang, why are you staring at us? Wang Yang sighed slightly before replying, I have been cultivating since my youth. Only when I reached 20 did I realize that I'm not innately talented. Then, I turned my attention to the research of martial souls. I toiled, and eventually cemented my place in Shrek Academy today. I am 41 years old this year, and I've been studying martial souls for a good 35 years now. In Shrek Academy, there's never a lack of talents. However, my understanding of what a talent constitutes has been redefined repeatedly when it comes to your batch. I have even seen the occurrence of many situations that have until now only appeared in myths and legends. 
Initially, I believed that Dai Huabin was the most outstanding among your batch of students. Although he is only 13 years old, he possesses soul power up to rank 37. It's almost conceivable that he can reach the cultivation of Soul Emperor when he's 20 years old, under the meticulous guidance of the Academy. Maybe the both of you are unaware, but we've something known as seeds in the Academy. They refer to students whose cultivation can reach six rings even before they are 20 years old. Right now, there are only four seedling students remaining in the entire Academy. They include Ma Xiaodao and Dai Yaohang, whom the two of you have seen before. Achieving six rings before the age of 20 is also publicly recognized in the continent as the criteria to be called an unrivaled talent, I used to think like that in the past too. However, after I got to know the both of you better, I have been reminded through your actions that this theory is fallacious. The class of one's soul power is not everything. There are even more crucial components and situations apart from the class of one's soul power. Let me explain to the both of you. You how, I shall talk about you first. You are the one who surprises me the most. In terms of diligence, you are among the top three of all the students that I've seen. As for your talent, you are the only one with an ultimate martial soul that I have ever seen. What's even more unbelievable is that it's a twin martial soul. Your second martial soul awakened after the first. These few conditions of yours are all suitable to be the subject of my research. Even till now, I have not grasped some of your mysteries. As for your will and resilience, you are without a doubt the toughest person I have seen among those in your same age bracket. I am certain that your achievements will be above Dai Hua Bing's in the future. In the competition yesterday, you displayed two abilities at the end. Don't tell me that they were skills derived from your first soul ring. If I am not recalling wrongly, your first soul skill was your soul bone skill, which is a powerful soul skill that resembles the power of a domain. Logically speaking, with your condition, you shouldn't have been able to possess such a skill. And when you displayed that skill at the end which forced you wooching off the arena, I could feel the frightening aura of that soul skill even though I wasn't even in the arena. Furthermore, Yi Wuching had already freed himself from the restraint of the Golden Road. With his cultivation as a soul king, you couldn't have beaten him simply by consolidating your soul power. At that point in time, I felt that your control of soul power became much greater. Can you explain to me how you were able to do that? In the face of Wang Yang's doubts, were you how groaned inwardly? Teacher Wang was indeed very astute in his observations, as his questions were all on point. This problem had been bugging Hui Yuhao for some time. In the past, he had not known what Wang Dong's second martial soul was. He even assumed that their second martial souls had some form of connection. But now, he realized that the second martial souls the two of them possessed were completely unconnected. Despite this, there was still a high degree of compatibility between their martial souls, to the point where they had even obtained the Haodong power which was a force that could be used to cultivate and improve together. Wang Yang laughed bitterly. It's indeed tough for me to answer your question. I have been pondering it too. Regarding this, I've poured over a lot of materials in the academy. However, I'm still unable to give you a precise answer. The fusion of twin martial souls has never appeared before in the records of the academy over the past 10,000 years. I can even say that there's no relevant information regarding this in the entire history of the continent. Thus, no one can be sure about what's going on with the fusion of both of your martial souls. We can only guess. I thought about it last night, and came up with a few possibilities. The first possibility relates to the quantity of martial souls. While it's true that both your martial souls are different, it's also crucial to understand that your martial souls are both twin martial souls. Twin martial souls are very rare. For two to appear, and even achieve compatibility like the both of yours, is even rarer. Your two twin martial souls represent one similarity between the both of you. The both of you must be wondering why Xiao Xiao can't fuse with you. This relates to my second possibility which is also the most probable reason. The two of you are complement each other. For two martial souls to fuse together even though they are unconnected to each other has happened before. The reason why they can fuse together is due to their complementary existence. As both martial souls complement each other, they will fuse together, just like yin and yang, developing a martial soul fusion skill in the process. Hui Yu has two martial souls of the spiritual type and ice type. As for Wang Dong, your martial souls belong to the light type and strength type categories. All four of your martial souls are different, but no one can be sure whether they are complementary to one another. Maybe, for some reason, your martial souls fuse together because they are complementary. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.